rolling hills, greenery, and beauty, they all have one thing in common. They were planted, nurtured to grow. TV does the same thing to our brains. Before you freak out, let me explain myself. The cultivation theory is a theory that states that watching television can plant ideas and thoughts in our brains that eventually change the way that we see the world, which can also change our actions. Specifically, the theory looks at the effects of TV and violence. George Gerbner founded the cultivation theory in the 1960s, stating that heavy television users developed an exaggerated belief in a mean and scary world. Earlier in the 1950s, the Surgeon General tried to do studies to see what effects TV had on specifically children. However, after extensive studies, they could only find a quote-unquote casual relationship between the two. However, more and more evidence has come out that TV does in fact have an effect on people's thinking. The cultivation theory has three prongs. I won't insult your intelligence by reading them aloud. Hollywood is a great example of this because they are concerned with how to export their product globally for maximum profit at minimum cost. The content studied normally has dramatic violence in it, which is overt expression or threat of physical force as part of the plot. Mainstreaming is a big part of this, which states that communities that watch the same TV will end up thinking the same way. The more lifelike a television show, the more it will resonate with its viewers. Gerbner was definitely onto something with his theory, and with social media in play, we're being changed even more. Gerbner was right when he claimed that heavy television users develop an exaggerated belief in a mean and scary world. I guess TV can change the way we think. Okay, now you can freak out.